What is going on guys, ALMD back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about what is the most likely time we're going to be seeing new updates, news, and gameplay from LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Real quick guys, if you do enjoy content like this, LEGO Star Wars, Star Wars Squadrons, please be sure to subscribe. we got a bunch of content on the channel, but thank you guys so much and let's get right into this video. So as I've said in previous videos, we really haven't gotten that much news this summer or updates or gameplay on the game. And this summer, you know, we, it's kind of been quiet. And hopefully that is going to change tomorrow at the Developer Showcase, June 22nd, where obviously developers get to show off some of their games. And it's very possible that we could end up seeing some sort of gameplay or something in that show tomorrow for LEGO Star Wars. And like I said, we haven't gotten that much news, but the game is still kind of far away. It's supposed to come out October 20th, or at least that's the leaked release date we have. Pretty much confirmed, but it's not yet. And uh, I think tomorrow would be a really good time. I was predicting before the end of the month, and so were a lot of other people and YouTubers. And hopefully tomorrow is going to be the day. It looks like if it were to be this month, tomorrow would be the day. It would be June 22nd at the Developer Showcase. If not, we're probably looking more towards July and August for gameplay. But it's something that I think we need. I think gameplay at a minimum is what we're going to need because... Uh, you know, we want to see what the game looks like. Obviously, we know other LEGO games, what they look like, but I really want to see what this is going to be like, how these hub areas are going to look, what they're going to be like, how you're going to be able to interact with other LEGO characters, how the free roam is going to exactly work. Like, we have ideas on all this stuff, but we aren't 100% sure, and I really want to know what it's going to look like later in this game. Another thing that I think they should kind of talk about is the characters in the vehicles. Now, we have gotten some recent information about codes and certain vehicles and how much basically there's going to be a lot in the game based on these codes and what we know and what we just received news on a couple days ago but overall we know there's going to be around 500 characters in this game we know there's going to be a bunch of vehicles but if we could get a little bit more specific as to who these new characters are because you know we've played the older games and we know a bunch of older characters but are the, all these characters going to come from the Clone Wars or are all of them going to come from the sequel trilogy like The Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker because they didn't have their own Lego game? I don't know. I'm just excited to learn more about these vehicles and more about really the characters in the game that we're going to get to play as and who is going to be like unlocked from the side story. Because obviously you're going to unlock a bunch of characters in the regular story. Who are going to be the characters that you're going to have to go out of your way to find? That's what I want to know. I want to know how big this grind is going to be to get all the characters and all the vehicles and everything in the hub world and basically outside the main story. So the final piece of news that I think we should be getting at some point tomorrow or with before the end of the month is besides gameplay, I think we should learn more about the pre-order details that they haven't really specified on. The only thing we know, as I've said in previous videos, is we're getting a steel bookcase if you pre-order it from Best Buy, I believe. Uh, and it's of Han Solo, Frozen, and Carbite, but it's Lego form. And it looks like a sweet steel bookcase. But I wish we got some more information on the different um, editions of the game that you can pre-order. Because I'm sure there's going to be a standard edition, there's going to be a digital edition, there's going to be a deluxe edition, and then they might have some big Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga edition that's going to cost like a hundred plus dollars. Something like that that includes, you know, other Lego sets. I want to know more about the pre-order details and, you know, what we're getting ourselves into when we pre-order this game. And hopefully we learn that. Hopefully we get the release date confirmed as well. Because October 20th, I think, is a good day, but it's also going to be right before the new consoles come out. And we don't actually don't even know if this game is going to be confirmed for the new consoles. Now they have backwards compatibility on the new consoles, but I wonder if this game is going to be solely released for PS5 or Xbox Series X. That's something we could also figure out coming out tomorrow or later. I think tomorrow is going to be the day. I'm really hoping tomorrow is going to be the day. It should really be, you know, an exciting day if it happens, and I can't wait to report on it. But yeah, guys, that's really what we should be expecting and when we should be expecting it. Should be expecting it tomorrow. Should be expecting some gameplay for sure. If it's tomorrow, there's going to be gameplay for sure. Then some pre-order details, whether they're going to be on the new consoles. And I think they should go more in depth as to the characters and the vehicles that we're going to be playing as and how many there are going to be exactly. Because we have an estimate of around 500, but is there going to be exactly 500 or is there going to be more? We don't know. 
But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoy this again, please be sure to subscribe down below. We got a bunch of content like this on the channel for Lego Star Wars. And thank you guys again. If you enjoy the video, please be sure to like it. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.